What's up guys and welcome back to Tackling the World. I'm Jocelyn. I'm Taku. And today we actually got invited by Jay who lives here on the island and he invited us to join them for umu. Yeah, which is an underground oven. It's a traditional way of cooking in the South Pacific Islands and today we're specifically in Niue. Oh, so itchy. So uh, I brought a long sleeve which was smart but I wore shorts and I'm getting destroyed. You can't see them. They're actually, these ones don't get too inflamed, which is nice. Oh my god, that one right there. Very sensitive to bug bites. I'm usually really good <laughs> about bringing mosquito spray, but I don't know what happened this time. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll watch them put everything together in the umu, and we get to taste it too later on. So excited, excited for that. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, thanks. Yourself? Good, good. Thanks for uh, inviting us. Hey, no problem. Yeah. This is my brother Robin. Robin. Hey, Robin. Taku. Jocelyn, nice to, meet you. nice to meet you guys. You got a whole little operation going, huh? Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. Hello, I'm Taku. That's Nibi here. This is Loa and Naki. So we just go into the forest, mm -hmm. pluck them. Oh, nice. And we process them here, and then that's what we put on um, for food. Sweet. With coconut cream, they wrap it up, and then we'll be in the oven one day. Yeah. Oh, and you guys have, that's a bunch of, that's taro, huh? Yeah, that's taro there. Yeah. And um, you heard about the takihi? Uh-uh. Oh, that? Niue is well known for that dish. Oh, yeah? I think it's only Niue in the Pacific, or in the world that does that. Uh-huh. It's pretty much a layer of um, taro with papaya. Oh, cool. Yeah, so if you talk about takihi in the, in the region, people will know that's a Niue in yeah. Dish, yeah. Oh. Originated from here. Nice. Some other uh, islands now starting to. Yeah. To do it, but. Oh, this is it right here. Yeah. So, <clears throat> pretty much everybody on the island has this or something similar kind of set up. Uh huh. Um, as you can see now, we're using iron plates. Okay. Like traditionally, we use rocks, but here on the way, we don't have river rocks like how they have. In oh. other places. Oh yeah. So the river rocks are good, they don't crumble and right. But the rocks we have here, like two, three uses, it'll just turn to powder. Uh-huh. And uh, you get on the food and you have to like oh, I see, I dust see. it off and yeah, so stuff. you just heat that up, that kind of just conducts. Yeah, so the heat. now it's way, way better because yeah. it doesn't break and disintegrate, eh? So right. we can use it over and over and over. Uh -huh. So all the food will go in there. Yeah. So the good thing about it is like you prep your food and yeah. just chuck them all in and all in one go, about a couple of hours, two, three hours. Two, three hours, nice. Yeah, and then we have a, just a bigger one there that's covered by the plywood board over there. Uh huh. It's a longer one. So oh. When we cook a pig. Oh, a whole entire pig. You just throw yeah, it in. Just go over there. Nice. This one's a much smaller. Like and you do this every Sunday? Uh, oh. Growing up, we used to. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there are still quite a few people here. Mm hmm. Who, who still do it every Sunday. Yeah. But us, we don't do it every Sunday like we used to, but now and again, yeah. we do it. This is kind of like a small size. Yeah. But they're the best eating, in my opinion. Oh, really? Normally you hunt for them at night, right? Or yes. Do you do it in the daytime too? Uh, at certain times. Yeah. Uh, certain times of the year that you can, but mostly it's just nighttime what do you eat you eat all the legs yeah everything then, yeah some people just like the legs some people like the middle part oh okay some people love the head uh-huh yeah i prefer the the legs and the head and they're really slow really yeah docile. yeah they're really slow so like, even when they bite would you familiar with them like you know uh-huh well, people are familiar you would think they will like snap at you away eh? yeah but it doesn't so like you have time to move your hand away before the core, but uh -huh. once it catches on, oh bro, oh, yeah. done, eh? you don't want, you don't yeah. want that, uh, so, you know, like this here, so, yeah, you just, yeah, so, it will, it will close up, but it's real slow, oh, okay, so when you're catching them, I have some videos on my channel when I was just grabbing it from the, inside the rocks, mm -hmm. crazy that, uh, they can break open coconuts, yeah, that's like unbelievable strength, because even, like a, full coconut and it's just so hard to break through even with a knife or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Instead normally we use the taro but my favorite uh, it's the yam. Mm. So this is the local yam is totally different than your little yams in the states. And this one's fruit? That's papaya. Oh that's papaya okay. Mm. 
Oh, Mountain Dew, huh? That's yep. the secret recipe. This is the secret recipe. <laughs> the secret island recipe. See, right this is the coconut cream. Oh, here I have a salty beef. It's Kobe Masima with um, taro, young taro leaves. Lou, we call it on Lou. And no coconut cream, the reason being because it's got lots of um, yummy stuff in it. Mm. Lots of fat. A lot of fat, yeah. Oh, One of the island favorites, yeah. Ah. Back in the days, we don't use foil, we just use everything leaves. Mm -hmm. But these days, you know, yeah, made our life easier. Oh, what's this one? That's sausage. Sausage. Oh, sausage. So we just base it off on the fern at the bottom, mm -hmm. and then we just layer it with like tar, um, sorry, sausages. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, we bring the coconut cream and just like oh, you yeah, put coconut cream on coconut it. cream to make it like nice and oh. fat and juicy. Mm, sounds tasty. <laughs> so normally this dish is for the little kids if they're like one table or the other. Oh food. really? Yeah. Oh. So pretty much you just see this on the kids' plates. Ah, I see. More Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. Give it a little fizz. Must taste this. Yeah. I can't wait. And most of the ingredients you just kind of gather yourself. Huh? Mm -hmm. The leaves. All the leaves and the, and the fern. Oh. Then you just go and you pluck it. These are the tips. Oh. Yeah, but these ones are not really healthy looking. So you just go walk in the forest and just mm. pluck, 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 pluck as you go. Ah, oh, pluck those little tips. Yeah. Cool. All right, birds nest fine. And that's pretty much everywhere on the island you can find. Yeah, pretty much everywhere. Yeah, but there are certain spots that there's, there's more. a lot in one area, so you yeah. don't have to walk as far. Yeah. yeah. So when people like you know those those spots, they'll go there. Yeah. But sometimes it's on people's lands oh. and mostly people mostly people just go to their own land i see but now and again there you do it yeah <laughs> this is the original one. Oh yeah yep yeah. this is what we use we call it pitoy <laughs> yeah this is from the the tree yeah the uh, coconut yeah coconut tree yeah. the spine of the coconut leaf uh -huh. A lot of people now um, don't use the leaves, they just use the foil, mm -hmm. cover it over, That's hot. Yeah. it's just an easy way to do it. But we still use the leaves, um, mainly when we use the leaves, we open the um way, just the smell from the leaves, uh -huh. it gives you that the umu smell, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the... <laughs> this yep. is the papaya and taro? Yep. I think this one is a yam. Oh, the yam. Oh, yam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby taro. Oh, this is the baby taro. Oh. This is just cooked and then just yeah. coconut sauce on the top. Oh, wow. Mini goldfish. Yes, fresh coconut milk. And is it, um, is it raw? Yeah, it's raw. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's raw with, uh, um, Lime juice on it. Oh yeah. That's another very popular dish for the locals. Oh wow. They only come to the season at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, take a look at this guys. This looks absolutely incredible. Look at these little fish. Little fish, these are um they close the beaches actually for swimming because it's the season to catch these little like they're like tiny goat fish. And um look at that, the layers on that. And I'm excited to try those too. Sea snails and baby taro. We've got all kinds of stuff on here. It's a feast. How's this? That's pretty good. Wow. It's so soft mm -hmm. and it's like creamy. Mm. I even even got the small fish. Yeah, how, how do, you, you, do you eat the whole thing of this? Yeah, yeah, you eat the whole thing. Cool. Yeah, you can hold it. Might have a few bones, but hey. Small enough. Oh, wow. 
This is baby taro. Man, there are lots of passion fruit drinks, baby. They're like tender, creamy, buttery. <laughs> that was delicious. Let's try this one. How do I eat this one? Oh, you just hit it and it come out? Like this? You gotta hit it hard on them. Okay. But. No, I will show you. <laughs> so you hit it on your. On your palm? Yeah. Oh, right here. Like this. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah. You can feel it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not it. <laughs> This one's hard. Oh, I got two. <laughs> what? Oh, I got two. <laughs> 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 you try, you try. Millie, how in the hole? No, okay. That one's in my face. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so if you can't hit it out, you gotta. Oh. That one's hot. That one's in there. Yeah. You try that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it came out. It came out. It was great. No, I love I love sea snails and stuff. Mm. All seafood. The coconut crab. I want. You call it unga. Unga. U G A. I say unga. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Here. Yeah, I know. Oh, look, it's different. different. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's got like um, way more flavor. Mm -hmm. This is like it has. Mm -hmm. and this was in the. Was in the umu too? I want to have a no, no, new one there, Monique. This was just boiled. This is my first time trying it. Trying coconut crab. Not many places in the world have those. Mm -hmm. That's rare. I have a video on my channel when we're eating those. So people come in today. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that those are getting extinct? You shouldn't be eating those. Like, right, right. Like, not on my island. Not, on, not here. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they keep it over there. They keep them, they look after them, mm -hmm. not letting them. Yeah. And it's good now because like, you're not allowed to take it out of the new one. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it helps. No, no it. export. No. Hey. Yeah. You so if you want it, come over. You gotta come yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Because what they were finding when we were exporting, they were people were just taking They're just them. taking a bunch. Taking back right. boxes. 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 When they were doing that, you had to see the big owners mm -hmm. and fishers. Just like people are keeping them to send off. Yeah. But now, we should figure out what they were. Oh, yeah. Now everything. it's like nice and abundant. Yeah. Yep. That's great. Special coconut tool. Yeah, especially for husky coconut. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a good size one. Yeah. This should be your one item you take for survival on an island. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to give it a shot. So you just go right in the middle like that? So you more so aim for around oh, this right. area. Okay. That region, yeah. Right around there. Yeah. Can you push it down? Yeah, so you normally, have, you normally you would have it. A hand there, then a hand here, then you just push it down. Oh, okay. Push it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he made it look you so easy. <laughs> I was like, this is easy. <laughs> I, guess it's just, it's just, I think it's just practice there. So yeah. Just, it's the motion. It. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yep. Yeah. 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 Take them off. Or you go from yeah, go from the back. So you take them out by trunks about yeah, about there. See, you're becoming a pro already. Yeah, <laughs> you just gotta get the groove. Look at my coconut. This is nice. a big coconut. It is probably the biggest coconut I've ever had. <laughs> is this the easiest you've had opening one? Yeah, this is cool. Now I got the hang of it. 
for people who deal with coconuts, say, yeah, you take it for granted how we crack coconuts and stuff. You don't think about it. Yeah. And then when you see it on YouTube, how people are get hammered, yeah, whatever out. Like, what? Because <laughs> like, actually, yeah, if, if you know what you're doing, you can just use a small rock. Really? One go, and you can just crack the whole thing. Really? Open, yeah. So when you crack it, you always look for you know, the eyes and yeah. the mouth. Uh huh. Yeah, and um, if you're drinking it like on those nuts, yeah, you, I normally like oh, use the mouth because you can tell these ones will be similar, mm -hmm. and the other one will be just slightly bigger. Mm. You just use a knife, go through it, then you drink it. Yeah. With the one hole, but this, uh, like I said, some people make two, so the water will just flow out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you look at the line. So normally when you crack it, the mouth. The, so you hit it, the line between the eyes. Okay. There's a line here. Yeah. You go to the middle, middle part, and you just start cracking it here. And you just do it, taking your time. Okay. If you have a a, a push knife. See? Easy, eh? Whoa, just, whoa. just keep on tapping it. Whoa. You got that line. So yeah. Now you just put your knife in there. No way. That's oh, it. no way. Mm -hmm. oh. So you don't have to smash it or anything. <laughs> you just tap and just move. Wow. Just move it, move Does it, that move. work with the green coconuts too? Yeah. When you finish drinking it, you can oh, do the same really? thing. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. And now let's see this. So this is something that I'm sure a lot of people don't uh, see. I don't know about and I never had it and so this is a sprouting coconut mm. this is the part that nourishes the coconut as it starts to grow yeah and eventually it'll be nothing inside so like the longer this stays the coconut without you touching it the the actual meat in here will become thinner and thinner eventually there'll be nothing mm. left mm. so like if you open it if the old old ones there'll be hardly any more surrounding meat there yeah we call this new tupu here in the way oh, okay new tupu Utupu. Yeah. Uh, other islands call it Utu, Utu or whatever, but mm -hmm. it's new tupu over here. Whoa, wow, it's spongy. Uh huh. Marshmallow. Marshmallow, whoa. And you just eat this like yeah, that? Eat that. Oh. If you die, don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it nice? That's yeah, nice. Or something be sweet, something be like. Yeah, no, not it's. sweet. Whoa, that's so interesting. The texture is very cool. Like that one's it not does too have, bad. It has like a like that spongy kind of squishy with the little like a slight pear kind of um, texture and then flavor of a coconut. Mm. Oh, it's so soft. So this is like what they're talking about, the sprouting coconut. Yeah, it's so like spongy, huh? Yeah. Right. Oh. That's not what I expected. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. So cool. Spongy. Spongy. Still tastes like a coconut, huh? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Very cool. This one is okay, but some can be even better than this. Yeah. It'll be more firm and really sweet. Mm. This one is not as sweet. Mm. You guys make sure to check out Jay. <laughs> Life on in, the rock in New Island. Life on the rock. Links in the description for his uh, first channel. Oh man. And on the channel, what, what do you do? Mostly cooking and. Uh, you know? Mostly the life on the rocks. Just uh, oh. uh, me and my family, what we do when we get up to here on New Island. Yeah. If you like this content, you want to see more of it, check out Jay. Thank you, man. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you for, no to the rest of the family. Oh man. Thank you for taking the time to um, be with us, bro. Oh, my pleasure. I'll come back for food anytime. <laughs> and you're most welcome to you. Thank you. Woo! I like it. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Finally got to try coconut crab, so I'm happy. Oh, the coconut crab is incredible. That's, that's a once in a lifetime kind of kind of thing you eat there. I don't know when next, I don't know the next time I'll be able to have coconut crab, so that's a real treat.